Hi, my name is Harry Barton. We are farmers from Nottinghamshire Lincolnshire border. We farm approximately 1,500 hectares. We started off with a 460 in 1999, which added a lot, a lot more sophistication and electronics, which uh, helped guide us through the harvest. After having the 460 for three years, we took on a bit more land and we and then moved up to a 580 with a 30 foot cut. After a couple of wet uh, harvests, one in particular, we got the 580 TT on tracks. Um, this was just to uh, keep us going through wet times and also to reduce compaction. After having three 580s, finishing off with the 580 plus, uh, we uh, we acquired some more land and we then moved up to a 770, also on tracks. Um, this helped uh, with our goal to uh, become controlled traffic, uh, which we are currently doing with the 780, with the 7XL Orbit. The 780 with the telematics has been a great help, um, not just through looking at the settings and the yield data, but also having it on my phone where I'm at a nice later store, I can keep an eye out on moistures, yields, and also where the combine is, especially if it's the moisture spikes, I can see that it's on the uh, side of a wood or around the headlands, just help manage the grain intake process. I'm very impressed with the fuel economy. We're get it, getting more output than 770, but using less fuel. This helps us carry on longer in a day without filling up. The 7XL auger on the 780 is a, a new thing from Klaas. It's designed specifically for controlled traffic to meet up with the, the adjoining bout um, width of the combine so the chaser bin can follow in the exact tracks of the combine, thus reducing any unnecessary compaction and sticking to the controlled traffic lanes. This is an example of the telematics on my phone, so I can clearly see here that the combine is going alongside a railway, um, there's a fair chance there could be a bit of green in there and moisture could spike. It helps to uh, manage drying or allocating a place for the grain. This screen shows the um, processing time, transport, turning, downtime and motor off. This varies massively depending on field size and whether you're moving. Um, generally we would like to be above 70% processing time. This screen shows the uh, diesel tank level, speed, rate of work, fuel consumption um, and many, many other settings.